have been able to finish off what they started. Sebastian Eno was in tears yesterday. He really was, uh, as uh, he finished fourth of four in the breakaway at the end. Here's the boys, though, are carrying the big prize list, and this is Discovery Channel. Benjamin Noval, who's carrying a power monitor. We can hear then, still all the work being done by the Discovery Channel, and it's the two workhorses on the flat, Pavel Padronos and uh, <laughs> been called into action today to save the climbers of the group. And uh, that, to us, is an indication that the boys aren't going that hard, because if they were, then those two boys on the front at the moment would be into the back, uh, into the back of the pack, and probably uh, dropped en route. 14 and a half minutes today. Two races again. And the other a pure climber. He's gone away on other types of stages, but the breakaway today, he'll have to climb away if he's going to win. I think up towards the airfield. It's beginning to look with just about 37 miles to go, 60 kilometers, that this breakaway will be the winning move of the day. And if it is, then we're going to see a lot of action over the... Phil, can you tell me how this bonkers boy even got into the tour? Well, Al, bonkers boy was an obscure rider on an undistinguished club team. He was owed a favor by the tour selection committee, and many think that explains his presence here this July. If he's just getting up to what is probably the hard part of his workout here. When he's wor working very hard, it probably averages out between 400 to 450 watts. So you can tell that right now he is really starting to pull hard for the rest of the team on the slopes of this. Nine seconds since Marcos Serrano actually won the stage, but it's this battle behind. And it's amazing these riders, Phil, are battling out for seconds. They're not slowing down. They're sharing turns at the front, just keeping the pressure on because the race is all about seconds for the placings in the overall standings. They can't even raise the sprint past Armstrong here they're letting him go over the line in first place hang on to his shirt here, here comes good elements this man is finishing the tour strong and he's gonna climb one place in the overall nobody could have expected a man who could possibly win the one-day classic paris roubaix or the tour of flanders to win a mountaintop finish that was an impressive ride by bonkers boy and he had the responsibility on him at the bottom of that final climb he isn't one of the greatest climbers but i'll tell you what he came up good this time When I got to the top of Alpe d'Huez, I was pretty sure I would win. Armstrong couldn't catch me, and I passed Hincapie like he was standing still. And I could have won in 2006 if my derailleur hadn't malfunctioned at the base of the Galibier.